What's going on guys? So after my crash in January, I had to get a new helmet. The old helmet was trashed and I didn't want to use my old Trilly helmet from before. So I got a Bell Moto 9 Flex. Flex. Um, I got it in all white because I wanted to paint it eventually and I think that time has come. Now as far as designs go, I knew I was going to get this helmet eventually. Um, so when I was at work and stuff, I was playing around literally drawing on paper trying to get an idea of what I wanted to do. And you know, all my previous helmets were all kind of stars and stripes. And as much as I liked that design and wanted to stick with a design like this, I had an idea on my way to work one day, and I came up with that. So, let's see how well I can do this. Um, got a white helmet because it's you know easy base color white. Um, all I have to do is tape off all the stuff I want to keep white and go from there. So it's a new design, very intricate as far as where the teeth are and all that on this guy. Um, but, but I think I have an idea of how I'm going to do it. So yeah, I got a white helmet because... I got a white helmet because it's a good base color to start off with. Um, all I have to do right now is tape off the rubbers because I don't want to take them off. So I got to tape those guys off. I want to tape... I want to tape off the Flex logo and the DOT logo just because I don't want to get paint on those. I want to keep those on there. Um, the Bell logo is on the side. I could get new stickers, decals, and put them on really easily, so I'm not worried about that. And that's about it. You know, it's already got to start off, so all I have to do is just scuff it down a little bit, put a better clear coat on it than I did last time, because last time I had a lot of chipping around the jaw, around the jaw of the helmet, so. But first things first, I have to go out and get some tape and some sandpaper to sand down and mask off what I want to keep on another white, and then start laying out my graphic and my design of what I want to do. Of what I want to do, and and then start spraying. So this is gonna take a little bit of while, um, and you'll see a lot of time lapse because and about ninety percent of paint work is all in preparation. So so we'll go step by step, and first things first, let's go get some sandpaper and some tape. So I'm done with sanding. I've been using a 400 grit sandpaper, I've been wet sanding. And really all I'm doing is getting the shine off. So if you look at this, this has got a good shine into it right there. This guy, it's kind of like a matte color now, so. Next is to tape it up and go from there.
animated stencil it. One. Animated stencil the eye. And then I applied it, so. Teeth, eye, and mirrored on the other side. So that's what's gonna be white. So these guys are gonna be white. Um, and the eyes gonna be white. Now I have to mask off, off everything I don't want red. So that's what I'm gonna spray first is red. So everything is not gonna be red. I gotta cover up. It's taking a long time to do it, so I'm not gonna record all of it. trouble with this the just with the chrome it's like the clear coat won't stick over it and before I was having trouble when I put the tape on it pulled like the paint off it so like the chrome wasn't sticking and then the clear coat wasn't sticking on top of that so when I put tape on it and pulled the tape off it just pulls the clear coat off so now I'm gonna spray it all black because the idea was to do outlines of it black and then do like rivets like paneling. And then do, then tape off the parts that I want black and then do the chrome as like the last coat. That's the idea at least. So for right now I'm going to do black, I'm going to finish the rest of it black. Um, 
I'll do the last bit of white I'm going to do, and I'll do the eye, and then I'll come back to this part and do the last, last bit, last silver part, um, and hopefully I should just have to clear coat it and it should be done at that point, so. Alright, I'll spray some black. So this is the problem I'm having, where the paint doesn't want to stick. I don't know if I'm putting it on too thick, or the paint underneath isn't clean or something. I'm not sure, so. So what I'm probably gonna do is tape off the teeth again and sand down this whole back half again. Sand it all the way down and redo it again from nothing, so. Um, I think what I'm gonna do first though is do, a, what I'm gonna do this time is a layer of black, um, just where I want the tape, where I want the tape to go, or the lines to go, and then mask that off, and then do silver, and then the silver should be the last thing. Uh, if I'm gonna send it down right now, though, I should mask off the teeth and spray those white, so I just have the front half of the helmet done. It's <sighs> always something happens with these things. The last time I did, I had troubles with the visor and the paint and all that. So this time, it's the back of the helmet. <sighs> things I do to be different. Gotta be different. All right, so I'm gonna sand it down. I'm not gonna film it because it's not worth watching. And it's really time consuming, so. I'll be back as soon as I get that done. So I was moving along with the helmet and I ran into a problem. The silver I was using for it, which is this can, it doesn't work so well. It looks great, but as soon as I put any or any other kind of coat of paint over it, clear coat, um, any other color, I can put a piece of tape down and then that tape will pull the whole top coat off. And that's what I've been working with this whole week, trying to remedy that. I eventually got a new can, so far it's worked, but I gave up and I ended up sanding it all down to start over again. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tape up a little bit of it, spray it white as far as the parts that need to be white and then pretty much start over. <sighs> I've been doing this for a week now. So this has been over a course of a week I've been slowly working on this and getting nowhere. I mean the visor's red. That's the visor right there. Nice and red. I haven't gotten much further with that because I've been trying to deal with this. So I'm gonna spray it white, start over again, lay the graphics stencils down one more time, and go from there. Um, hopefully, 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 fingers crossed that this time it'll go a little smoother, a little easier. It doesn't take a while for me to find out. You'll find out here pretty soon. So. I didn't want to do this, but I guess I have to. 
All right, let's start spraying. Okay, so after sanding it all down and restarting, I am back to red. Um, I sprayed the red last night, so now all I have to do is uh, mask off what I want black. I'm gonna spray that. Different order this time. Spray that. And then I'll do the silver last. Um, I got a different can of silver, so this can should work better than the last one. But so far, it's not bad. I did change the design a little bit from what it was last time, so. Let's go, let's go home. Let's get to it and mask off the black. And then we'll spray that here at work so I can have it ready for tonight to spray the silver. Um, yeah. And today is Friday. I need it done by Saturday night so I can go ride on Sunday. I love giving myself de tight deadlines. All right, let's get to it. All right, I think I'm about done. So the last couple days I re-sanded it Resprayed it, redid all the stenciling, and today I finally put the clear coat on at work. So all I have left now is to take off the last bit of tape and put the visor on. Oh, and all the inside pads. So let's do it. to criticize my own work and say that it's nowhere near perfect. There's a, I guess, it looks good from a uh, five, ten foot away, but once you get up close to it and start looking at it, it's nowhere near perfect for sure. But you know, no one's perfect. I'm not gonna be perfect. I'm not that talented to do it great. But other than that, it's a decent looking helmet. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, for the short amount of time I had to do it, I, mean, I had two weeks, to, or I had a whole week to do it, and I ended up finishing it in three days because the whole first part of it was just me screwing around for some reason and not being able to get it done right. So now I do need to ha have some touch-up spots I got to do and work on, but other than that, she's done. All I need to do now is add my GoPro back to it. And go ride. Um, and the only reason why I need to finish it now is I'm going riding tomorrow. I mean, it is past midnight, so I'm going riding today, but that's regardless. So, start life as a white Bell Moto 9 Flex, and now it's my customized Spitfire helmet, I guess. I don't know. I'm a big, I'm a perfectionist, so I, I like to have it, try to get it as perfect as I can, and like I see every little I did with it, so. It is what it is, I, it's not going to get much better than it is now, so I'm going to call it good, I'm going to be happy with it, and I'm going to go ride, and that's all that matters. <laughs>
So yeah, if you want to put your own helmet, it's not that hard. It just takes some time and some creativity to go with it. I'm not going to say it's going to be professionally done, but kind of have a cool helmet. I said mine's different. And it looks somewhat good, so. So yeah, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more of me doing weird stuff and writing, go ahead and subscribe. Until then, I will see you guys in the next one.